So it's evolved from just the young male athlete to pretty much anybody on the planet is now considering creatine either in their diet or supplementation. So uh, for the next few hours, super excited to talk about all aspects of creatine and the evidence-based research behind it. Well, let's talk about the the resistance training and improving performance, right. muscle health. I mean, why why are people why is it so popular? Well, it, because it works from a, a muscle performance perspective. So it really, it basically increases the ability to produce ATP or maintain it during uh, an exercise session. So for example, when you're doing, you know, uh, a squat or leg press or even running, you're doing muscle contractions and phosphocreatine, which is what we're going to be talking about today from creatine supplementation. It really maintains ATP or adenosine ditriphosphate. Uh, so if you have more ATP longer, you can exercise at a higher capacity, a higher intensity. And that delays the utilization of other energy systems that might be a bit slower. Um, so anybody involved in high explosive anaerobic type of sports, weightlifting, high intensity interval training, for example, um, probably would experience some benefits from creating supplementation. 